Welcome to the warm-up. We are in Dark County chatting with Versailles head coach Adam Miller. Adam, in your third season here at Versailles, is things starting to become old hat for you? Yeah, I mean, you, you make adjustments every year, but uh, other than that, it's, you know, the kids are starting to figure out how we do things and, and the expectations we have for them. So it's starting to be, get a little more comfortable. That's great. So looking back on last season, went three and seven and three and five in the MAC. What positives can you take from that season and, and look to build upon for 2014? Uh, you know, going three and seven in, in our schedule is, is frustrating, but, you know, the one thing we look at, we we were in a lot of games. There was four games that we lost literally on the last play. So, you know, we, we feel like we're there. We just got to brush a few things up and turn those close losses into wins. Yeah, a lot of close games, especially in the MAC. How do you take, how do you learn from those? And do you think those guys gain good experience playing in such tight games? Uh, you know, when you lose, it's usually people kind of expose any kind of weaknesses you have. So it's, you know, we, we're aware of what those are. We've addressed them all off season, all preseason, and, and you know, work to get them corrected by the time we play Salina. Looking at this summer and into the preseason, how are things going in camp so far? Good. You know, we've got a, a good group of seniors. I think they've stepped up leadership very well. Um, definitely have a team-minded aspect to it. So I, I think we're, you know, we're young in some positions, but I think we'll shorten the learning curve and, and be ready to go. Graduated 13 guys last year. Who are some of those seniors that you're looking to take on leadership roles this year, and have you seen it happen already? Yeah, we've had uh, Kyle Derringer and Dan Borchers, um, our captains. They've done a great job stepping up, being leaders, you know, giving positive feedback to the kids, not just all negative. Uh, we've had, you know, several other seniors have, you know, really seen that it's their time to shine. Jace Bargy. Uh, Luke Paulus and uh, Mitchell Eversall, they've all done a great job of stepping forward and, and being the seniors they need to be. How have you seen those guys grow throughout the program now that you've been here for three years? Is that is that rewarding for you to see them grow? And, and, and if you can cite some specific examples of their growth. Yeah, it's it's good because you, you know, the, being the, with this being my third year, you know, a lot of these, well, these guys were all sophomores and to be able to see them bloom as they come up um, you know Kyle Derringer he started as a sophomore for us and, and did a good job but you can see that his experience is paying off and uh, things are coming easier to him um, you know some of the linemen uh, you know Mitchell Eversall and Luke Paulus uh, weren't the biggest toughest guys as they were younger but now that they put the time in the weight room it, the stuff's paying off and also, Jace Bargy, you know, he at one point he thought he was too small to play, and he ended up playing very solid for us last year and got second team all MAC. You mentioned the weight room. What is the weightlifting program like here at Versailles? Is it two days in the gym during the summer and then out here on the field? What's it like? Uh, we go three days a week. It's an hour and a half long, and we lift, we condition, we do speed training, agility training. We kind of hit it all and uh, every day for three days a week. And what's the conditioning like? I heard they, they asked you if they're going to be forced to do something. Was, did that have something to do with the conditioning? That's, that's more of the punishment. But the, you know, the big con conditioning here is in the Michigan. It's something that uh, Coach Hetrick started when he was here. And it's a good gauge of where we're at. And you know we can kind of tell where we need to be conditioning-wise with that drill. Taking a look at the offense this season, what can we expect at the quarterback position? I know you graduated Nick Miller last year. Do you have someone in line to, to fill that role? Yeah, I mean, it, it's an open position. Um, Jared Niekamp, I'd say right now, is our front runner at the quarterback. Uh, he's done a great job. He's put a lot of time in outside of practice in the off season as far as learning throwing mechanics and um, you know just trying to understand the offense. So he's done a great job. And we've got a a couple other kids, Adam Lyons and Connor Custom Border, are fighting for that job as well. So that'll be a battle that continues throughout camp? Yes, yeah, and that's something that you know, we try to preach to the kids, you know, even if you started last year, don't be comfortable that you're going to start this year because a year makes a big difference, so you always got to strive to get better. Playing in the MAC 3-5 and five last season, and you've got an opener against Salina. That's a WBL opponent, obviously. What are you looking to get out of the opener before you get into the conference schedule? That first game is, is huge. It, it, it really sets a tone for the season. So you know, to, to come out with a win um, really sets a tone for the season, gets things started off on the right foot. Um, last year, we you know 
threw it up at the last play of the game and, and came up short against Salina. So, you know, I, I expect it to be another great battle, and hopefully this time we'll come out on top. And you get into the MAC schedule after that, weeks eight and nine, Coldwater and Marion local back to back, both defending state champs. That's a difficult part of your schedule, but hopefully by that time you'll be really in, in stride and in your form, correct? Right. In the, the last two years, we had two tough games with uh, Salina and Valley View, and then we played Coldwater and a Marion Local all right in a row. And, you know, I'd rather play those guys later when we've had more time to mature, develop, and, and sharpen things up. I'm sure your guys might have a better answer to this question, but do you have a rival in the MAC, or is everyone just right up there at the top? It seems like it's everybody. I would say definitely Coldwater and Marion are the top two, but that's the great thing about the league is you know every game is a is a battle, and it's you know you've always got some reason why you're you know out to get that team. So it's it's a fun league to play in the fact that you know every game is going to be a battle. Do you prepare any differently for league games, or is, is it always about the next opponent? Well, honestly, our schedule is pretty even across the board. Our, our two non-league games are teams that would I think they would do well in the MAC, so it's, it's pretty consistent throughout the year. You can see Versailles take on Minster on WOSN on September 26th. Time for a break on the warm-up. When we return, Mark Kuntz joins us to talk with some of the Versailles players. Welcome back to the warm-up as we continue to talk a little Tiger Ball here in Versailles. Joined now by Daniel Borchers, Kyle Derringer, and Jace Bargey. And guys, you're all seniors. You've been through the last couple of years with Coach Miller. What have you seen change under Coach Miller as he's entering in his third season? We'll start with you, Daniel. Um, definitely how practice works. It's definitely always been different. Um, Coach Owen always kind of focused more on the passing, and offense was the big thing with him. And it's been a lot more balanced, so we kind of see that. Kyle, have you seen changes how you guys prepare even in, into the summer going into the seasons? Uh, just more like experience, like knowing what we have to work on for the next year and just continue to get better. Jace, as you look back to last season, Coach kind of touched on it. You guys were 3-7, and seven, but you very easily could have been 7-3. and three. three tough losses to end the season. Did that leave a, a bitter taste in your guys' mouth? Was that something that kind of motivated you then through the offseason? Um, yeah. The big thing here is getting to the playoffs. And those three games right there, it's huge. That could have made a difference. Yeah, 17 times Versailles has made it to the playoffs, but last trip was in 2011. Jace, as a senior, I, I'm sure you want to see this season extend into week 11. Definitely. <laughs> Kyle, as you take a look at the, the rest of the MAC, Couple of defending state champs, great history, great tradition in the MAC. For sales, a big part of that. You go up against tough competition week in and week out. Does, does that ever wear you guys down? No, we're. I think most of us are excited to go against the competition because we win. We know that we're up there at the top of the state. Then we're one of the best teams in the state. Then too. Daniel, week one against Salina a year ago, it came down to the end. Salina got the victory and unfortunately kind of set the tone for the Versailles season with, with close losses. You got the Bulldogs coming up in a couple of weeks. What, uh, what do you guys need to get improve on the most between now and then? I think right now um, we just need to keep working hard and pushing through, and then I think we'll definitely be ready for Salina. Kyle, you've been through two days for a couple of days now. You've been through these for a couple of years. What do you do to try and keep things fresh? What do you do to, to try and keep the energy level up through the, this part of the, of the preseason camp? Uh, just try and make big plays during like team and all that. Whenever the fresh make big plays or make the first team look bad, celebrate with them, like make them feel good so they can keep getting happy, like feel good about themselves, then they'll keep working hard. Jace, let's talk a little about the youngsters on this team. Uh, you, you, we know there's going to be some kids that uh, need to step up this year. Have you started to see some of that from the underclassmen? Uh, yeah, there's a few guys who've really shown what they can do, and heck, they might play a little varsity. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break here on the warm up, and we come back. More Tiger Ball here on W.
third down here on the warm-up as we continue with Tiger Ball on WOSN, joined by two more of the Tiger Seniors, Mitchell Eversall in the middle and Luke Paulus on the end. And Mitchell, what have you seen in camp so far from this Tiger team? Well, you know, we're a very uh, we're a very physical, motivated team. We the the team aspect has been really amazing this year. You know, we're a team full of close friends, and it's really it shows and it pays off. Luke, I know you've grown up playing with these guys. You put in a lot of hard work over the years as a senior. What would you like to see this season play out? Well, I just like to get a lot of wins and cut those losses down a lot, and just play hard and play for each other. We know we're breaking in a new quarterback this year. You guys are both on the line. Luke, what have you seen out of the quarterback position so far? I think he's getting better throughout camp and throughout two days. He's been making progressions and everything, so I think it's good. Obviously, you got to replace Damian Richard. He meant a whole lot to this team, to this community. What did you learn from, from Damian Mitchell? Well, you know, Damian played with a very intense passion, and, you know, we're just trying to carry that over into this year, you know, his kind of mentality. And, you could see, you know, he made some spectacular catches. That passion really showed through on the field. We're trying to project that same, you know, attitude. Luke, we know Salina's the game that's circled right now because it's week one. What other games are you looking forward to this year? Well, Valley View because we didn't really put up much of a fight against them last year, and definitely Coldwater. That's circled every year. And Marion because they've been beating us the last couple of years too. So, How much bragging, how much – Trash talk occurs off the field. And you got a bunch of small communities, close knit communities. I'm sure you probably got some relatives that live up in Mercer County, and there's some Mercer County people with some relatives down here in Dark County. How, how much does that increase the rivalries between these small schools? I don't know. We're, like I know, I know some guys from Marion, some a lot of MAC teams. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. The trash talk, just talk around, and have I mean, fun with is, it. Is it trash talk or is it respect? It's probably it's more, much more respect. Yeah. yeah. Mitchell, as a senior, what, what are some of the ways you've seen this group come together and, and really lead this program? Well, you know, I mean, I feel like we have a great balance of, you know, very, you know, straightforward, lead by example people, in combination with vocal, you know, guys who can keep everybody hyped. And I just feel like that's really, it's brought us together because we function as a unit rather than playing for each other. We play towards one common goal, which is a very, very valuable aspect, especially in any team sport. So, Luke, do you think that, that cohesion, that togetherness is the strength of this team? Yep, I think that's the biggest thing. That I think we lacked that a little bit last year, and so that's getting better this year. So, All right, I want to thank all of our guests here at Pole Field in front of the Head Trick Field House for Coach Adam Miller and all of our guests. And Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Coons. Thank you for joining us on the warm-up here on WOSF.